Hello everyone. I welcome you all in this video lecture. In this video lecture, we will study about different terms related to speed time curve. We will study different definitions. Before we study analysis of speed time curve, let us start with the crest speed. The maximum speed attained by train during run is known as the crest speed. So it is a maximum speed a train can attain, and that is normally denoted by v suffix m or v suffix c. Normally we use a v m for the maximum speed or crest speed, and it is measured in kilometer per hour. Then average speed. Average speed is mean of the speed from start to stop, but in different way it can be defined as the distance covered between two stops divided by the actual time of run is known as the average speed. So between start and stop, the actual distance covered between two stops and it is divided by the time then it is known as the average speed we have three different parameters one is distance one is speed and one is time so with the combination of these three parameters we can have different values average speed can be denoted by v with the suffix a va and it is measured in kilometer per hour mathematically it can be written as va is equal to distance between stops in kilometer distance between two stops and divided by actual time of run so distance that is in kilometer and time that is in hour so average speed can be measured in kilometer per hour same way we have scheduled speed the ratio of distance between two stops and the total time of run including stoppage is known as the scheduled speed the difference between average speed and scheduled speed that is in scheduled speed to consider the total time we add stoppage time also so the ratio of distance between two stops and the total time of run including stoppage is known as the scheduled speed it can be denoted by the vs suffix s we use for scheduled speed and it is measured in kilometer per hour mathematically it can be written as vs that is distance between stops and that is normally in kilometer divided by actual time of run plus stoppage time so when we consider stoppage time also then we get the scheduled speed acceleration it is the rate of rise of speed in kilometer per hour per second so acceleration that is nothing but a rate of rise of speed it is denoted by alpha and it is measured in kilometer per hour per second in same way we have retardation it is the rate of fall of speed in acceleration we consider rise of speed in retardation it is the rate of fall of speed when brakes are applied and that is also measured in kilometer per hour per second and it is denoted by beta and another term that is a costing retardation 
it is the rate of fall of speed again costing retardation that is also a rate of fall of speed when power is cut off and train moves on its own momentum in case of retardation we apply the brake but in case of costing retardation when power is cut off and because of its own momentum train moves up to certain distance so it is known as a costing retardation and that is also measured in kilometer per hour per second it is denoted by beta with suffix c beta we use for retardation with suffix c we use for costing retardation and that is kilometer per hour per second actual time of run it is the total time required by train to cover distance between two station in second denoted by capital t and it is measured in second so total time required by the train to cover the distance between two station that is actual time of run distance between two stops it is the distance in kilometer between two stops and that is the train has to cover denoted by capital d and that is measured in kilometer mathematically distance d can be written as a product of a average speed multiplied by total time of run that is capital t so as i said earlier we have three parameters one is distance one is speed and one is time so different combination of all these three parameters are required to calculate different terminology so distance d can be calculated as a product of speed and time so distance d can be written as a product of average speed multiplied by total time of run stoppage time it is the time of stoppage of train at station stoppage time is required to calculate the scheduled speed it is denoted by small t with suffix s suffix s we use for stoppage time of acceleration it is the time between the train starts for the journey and reach to maximum speed so time required between starting point and when train attains maximum speed so that is from the zero speed to maximum speed the time required that is known as a time of acceleration it is denoted by small t t1 when we see the speed time curve we can have time of acceleration and that is a t1 mathematically t1 can be written as a ratio of maximum speed to acceleration vm that is a maximum speed and alpha is acceleration so vm that is kilometer per hour and alpha that is kilometer per hour per second so time of acceleration can be measured in second maximum speed divided by rate of acceleration and that is known as a time of acceleration so time required from zero speed to maximum speed that is known as time of acceleration same way we have time of retardation it is the time between application of brake to the train stops 
or comes to the rest. So when we apply the brake and when train stops, the time required between these two incidents that is known as the time of retardation. It is denoted by small t with suffix 3. In the speed time curve, again, we can easily identify the time of retardation. Mathematically, t3 can be written as a ratio of maximum speed to rate of retardation. Vm that is the maximum speed and beta that is the rate of retardation. So ratio of maximum speed to rate of retardation that is known as a time of retardation and it is measured in second. Before we study actual speed time curve, these terminologies are very important to understand. Thank you for watching my video. Keep watching. Thank you very much.